Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and today we're learning about Missouri's own author event in Hilltop Doc, which is a book written by writer Leonard Adrian, who's sitting right here, and so happy Thank to you. have you here. We've been talking about the process of writing your memoir of your time in the Korean War, which you wrote at age of 90 last year. That's right. After not talking about your experience in the war for 62 years. And what's amazing to me, and perhaps was to you as well, is how much those memories came right back to you when people started, when you started talking about the events. Is that right? Yes, the memories were amazing. Uh, they were so vivid. Mm. I, could, I could see the faces, I could hear the voices. And I the could, names, you remember the names? I know of the names, of course, of those who were close to me. And I remember the the many people who I didn't know their names, but I treated or I found them uh, uh, destroyed by the war. And mm -hmm. so, yes, uh, my memory was very vivid. So the one day you were at um, the lifelong learning, one of the lifelong learning classes um, at Washington University about Korea, and that's when the questions, um, st the students were asking you questions. Right. Uh, we were talking about this in our last segment, and the memories came back. At what point then did you start writing these down? Because I can imagine it must have been a flood of things that you were thinking about at that point. Yeah, I wasn't writing a book. The, the faculty said, write some of it down. And mm -hmm. I wrote vignettes, mm -hmm. and I shared it with my memoir class. And Ruby Lappin, who was my co-facilitator, said, you've got to put this in the form of a book. Mm -hmm. And Chancellor Wrighton encouraged me by saying, that when he read that some of the things I've written, that he thought it was fascinating and he thought it was engaging. And so I was encouraged, but I, I resisted writing a book. Because Why did I, you resist? Well, because I felt that uh, who is going to want to read about what happened in the Korean War 65 years before mm -hmm. uh, through, through the eyes of a low-ranked corpsman with the U.S. Marine Corps? Who would want to read a book written by a 90-year-old relic of the past, which is what I considered myself mm. at that time? And it was only when I began to remember the people that were there and that were important to me. I remember Derry, uh, my best friend, who trained with me at Camp Pendleton, was on the ship with me going over, showed me pictures of his beautiful Harley that he was going to buy when he got home, mm. a Harley that was not to be. And Je Sergeant Jimmy, who came home in a wood box mm. covered by an American flag. I remembered Big Mike, who got a bronze star and two purple hearts in Iwo Jima, was on a hillside with me, and a Chinese grenade landed at our feet, and he was quick, and he grabbed it, and he threw it into a gully, and it exploded, and I remember the vibration. He saved me. He saved himself. He saved the uh, fire team that was there only to lose his life an hour or so later on that mm -hmm. hillside. I remember Sammy, my fellow corpsman, uh, my mentor, who went to help a Chinese who was lying prone in the ground, and as he turned him over, he was booby-trapped. I was 20 feet away, and Sammy was blown up in front of me. And I said, I've got to write a book to honor those people. And 36,000 American service personnel were killed in that war. Mm. 103,000 wounded, 7,799 still missing in action. Somebody should remember those mm. people. Is there any chance of finding some of the families of these people that you're talking about and sharing the story with them? No, because if you remember, we didn't exchange right. information. So I never mm. did know where to go and look for those families. I'd love to do that today. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, maybe somebody will read my book. Hopefully, they'll find they'll I'll, find your book. Maybe. So we here in St. Louis are lucky enough to have you here. You've been a St. Louis in your entire life, and you're going to be speaking um, this coming Monday, November sixth, right. at um, the Jewish Community Center, Steinberg, right. correct? Um, and people can hear you ask questions 10:30 in the morning. So for more on Missouri's own um, event, uh, the St. Louis the STL uh, Jewish Book Festival. Visit stljewishbookfestival.org to get all the details and time of the event. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.